All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakudash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation all I can preserve with truth, safety, and charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly Father, whom the word in you calls God and Jehovah, Ba'asham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name, whom the word in you calls Jesus, and Rechakudash, the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird out there, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites no matter what your other parents may seem to be. And hey, as always, I'm the brother of your from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, Sincerely Hate Your Lives, man, you know, because hey, uh, I was just thinking about it, man, and hey, you have to really hate everything about this world man why because it's wicked man it's, it's not in this order everything here is against the israelite man especially if you know if the lord is dealing with you man and you know how it should be and how it is man and you you realize the reality that we in man you know it, it'll really mess you up man it, 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 you have to really hate this place man it's, it's wicked man you know but hey, this is luke chapter 14 and verse 26 it says, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple, man. Why? Because, hey, if you don't prefer uh, the, the kingdom of heaven, man, over all those things, man, if that's not your main goal, man, you, you, you're not worthy enough to follow after the Lord, man. You know, you have to really realize how wicked this world is from the from the, from our own people, man, from the heathens, man from how demonic it is that the, the spirit of rebellion that's upon this place man you have to not want no parts of it man you know but this uh leaves me well, I, I read the next verse verse 27 it says and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple so hey, man you gotta uh put that burden on you man hey, go ahead and uh endure hardness man you know hey get to it you know but this is first john chapter 2 and 15 Yeah, this is first john chapter 2 and verse 15 it says uh it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him just the lord say hey, love not the world nor the things in the world right because they will hey what's in the world man just wickedness man nothing that's for our betterment man you know you got the oppression of our own people man you got our own people uh doing drugs man uh, committing horrendous acts against one another man there's no true love in this place not amongst our families not amongst the that woman that we lay next to man you know the, the same you know a uh, person in the world man your own flesh but it, it's nothing none of that is true man nothing that is nothing that is here is uh is, is uh you know sincere you know but uh the next verse reads it says for all that is in the world was, let me reread that uh, verse 15 it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not him right if you love this place man you want this place to continue on you want to have the white picket fence and a nice house you know some neighbors to some you know hey hey that's not of the father man that's not the will of the father man if you desire that man hey you can't uh you you're not really gonna uh desire this knowledge wisdom understanding man or the kingdom of heaven you know it says verse 16 it says for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes right everything that's in this place is just people doing whatever they want to do with no reverence uh or regard to you how how shy man and they that's horrible man you know people just act off their emotions they do whatever they want which leads to all types of wickedness man you know uh, uh negative effects man you know it says in the lust of the eyes and the pride of life everybody is proud man everybody you know they got something to be proud of man you know and hey, it tells you in the book of Sirach, man, nobody likes a proud person, you know. It says, it is, it says, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And, and the Lord, you know, that's not the Lord's vibration that this world is on, you know. So if you love this world, hey, you don't love the Father, man. You know, as it says in James 4 and 4, it tells you, uh, a uh, friend of this world is, is is enmity with the most high man if you love this world if you cool if you win friendship you hand in hand with this world man the the father doesn't love you you know because hey this place is is totally against you how how shine his righteousness man you know and as men of the lord we have a yearning for that true righteous order to be set up i'm gonna grab this uh isaiah really quick this is isaiah chapter 26 26 and i'm gonna start at verse uh 
I'll start at verse 8. It says, Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. The, the true man of the Lord, man, we want the Lord to come back and, and establish order, man. Our households are broken up, you know. The woman is out of order. The children are out of order, man. You know, the, uh, my generation is just horrible, man. It, it, it's, it's horrible, man. And, you know, if time was to keep on going on, as the scriptures say, man, it says no flesh should be saved, man. Because that's how progressively wicked this place is getting, man. You know? It says, uh, the desire of our soul is to thy name and the remembrance of thee, man. We, we really want the Lord to come back and fix this, man, because it's not right, you know? You know? Our men have been reduced to drug addicts, basketball players, man. Rappers, man. <laughs> Rappers, man. You know, hey, hey, we was esteemed, we was once kings, man. You know, we we in the lowest state, man. We we don't like it here, man. We don't want it. We don't want to stay here, man. You know. It says, uh, verse nine. It says, "Will my soul have a desire thee in the night? Yea, will my spirit within me will I seek thee early? For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When Yahweh Yahweh Shai comes back, man, and, and set up that order, man. Yahweh Shai has government." Uh, with 144,000, man, a, a righteousness is going to spring up, man. True order is going to come back, man. You ain't going to see no more uh, jacked up Israelites, man. You know, you ain't going to see no more polluted seas, polluted oceans, man, concrete everywhere. You're not going to see those things, man. When the righteous are in authority, it says in the book of Proverbs, the people rejoice, man. But when the wicked bear rule, which, which is what ruling right now, the people mourn, man. You know, everybody ain't going to be sad and depressed and popping all types of pills and stuff, man. You know? You get sick of this place, man, you know? They, they furthermore reason to hasten the day to do the work to get up out of here, man, you know? Because they, the men of the Lord, we uncomfortable here. We uncomfortable. Uh, Yeah, that was enough right there, man. Because they, they, this place is wicked, man. Uh, everything is out of, out of, out of its order. This is Psalms chapter 82. This is Psalms chapter 82 and verse 5. It says, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in the darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything is out of course, man. Nobody is, the man, the Israelite man isn't acting like the Israelite man. The Israelite woman isn't acting like the Israelite woman. The Israelite children ain't acting like Israelite children, man. You know, our people are fully gone, man. It is no order set up, you know. It is just lawlessness all throughout the, the world and everything, man. You know. Uh... Let me see what's the next precept I'm going to go to. And it is, it's very vexing, man. As it says about lying in the book of Peter's, man. He was vexed with the wicked conversation, the conduct of these people, man. You know? This is a... Uh... Go ahead and grab these scriptures. On, uh... Uh... This is a... Uh... I grabbed his second edge 15. This is uh, 2nd Andrews chapter 15. Start at verse... Uh Start at verse 5. It says, Behold, say of Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. Why is the Lord going to bring bring these plagues? He's going to continue on to say. It says, The sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. That's why, hey, person, I don't want to be here, man. Everything is defiled, man. It's wickedness everywhere. You go on internet, man. You on household, man. Everybody around you, man. If they're not in this truth, man, they just degrade and degrade and degrade. They they ain't just worse. Each day go by, they just did they, they just through, man. You know, you got wickedness being taught to the children in the school systems, on TV, man, on social media, all of this, man. You know? So wait, man, we hastening the day that Yahweh Yahweh Shai comes back and restore that order, you know. We hate it here, man. We have no continual city here, as it says right here. And uh Hebrews chapter 13. This is Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Thirteen and fourteen. Yeah, let me uh, let me search this one. But this is Hebrews chapter uh, it's a lot, yeah. Okay, TV. There remain of. Let me see if I can find. 
Yep. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, Hebrew chapter thirteen and verse fourteen. It says, "For here we have no continued city, but we seek one to come." Hey, we want to get out of here, man, because hey, we don't have no place to call our home. You know, all all this here is oppression, whether it's from our work, our woman, our children, man. Everything is against us, man. You know, we have we have no rest of uh, mind. You know, we can't enjoy our children, man. We gotta go to work. We can't enjoy the house that we just bought because hey, we gotta go at work. Going work for crumbs, man. You know, doing a hard, rigorous work, man. You know? Uh, hey, as it says, arise and depart is Micah chapter 2. I'll grab that really quick. I want to keep paraphrasing. It's Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Right? We're not supposed to be com uh, complacent here. We're not supposed to be settled on our leads here, man. This place is not our rest, man. We have a place of rest, man. But this place, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, it's not our... Hey, th this whole age, man, this rulership, this time of the Gentiles, this ain't our time to relax and feel good, man. You know? Well, I got another one. Uh... Yeah, we'll get this Hebrews 4. Hey, but back in the Hebrews 13, it says, but we seek one to come. We seek the kingdom of heaven, man, where everything is going to be right, man. Everything's going to be in this order. And all, this is Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, 4 and 9, it's like it says, uh, it says, verse 9, it says, there remain of therefore a rest to the people of the Most High, man. And that rest comes in the kingdom of heaven, man. It starts with the destruction of this place, man. You know, this is uh second interest four. The second interest four and verse uh I can't we'll start at verse twenty twenty-six it says, Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more that thou shalt marvel, for the world hastes to fast to pass away. Right? This age that we're living in, man, you can see that a hey, the Lord has to be coming back, man. You know? Everybody is just depressed, doing all types of drugs, man. Every everybody, literally everybody, man. You know, all the prophecies happening, man. Hey, you don't want to sit down and rest here, man, because hey, this place ain't gonna be here, man. It's no stability here, man. You can buy a house and don't pay certain bills on, it, and they come and take your house, man. You don't own anything here, you know. It's injustice, injustice everywhere amongst our people, man. It says, verse 27, it says, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, man. This age, this 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 uh this rulership that we in, man, is full of unrighteousness, man. You got vile affections, man. You got uh disorderly women, you got disorderly children, man. You got a generation of a, a generation of just of, of adulterers, man. You know? It says, uh, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, man. Infirmities goes into weaknesses, man. Everybody's sick, man. You know, uh, the, our bodies, man, are breaking down, man. Uh, the world, the, everything that we're we attacking always, man, through the water, the air, you know, through our own families, man. We have no uh, reassurance of life here, man. Why would you want to be here? You got to absolutely hate, despise this place, man, you know. It says, verse 28, it says, But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction therefore is not yet come. Hey, the evil is here, man. It's evident that the evil is here, man. It says, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Verse uh, 30, verse 29, it says, If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So if all this wickedness isn't uprooted, man, and a main push of this wickedness isn't destroyed off the face of the earth, how is it going to come that's filled with good, man? What's that that's, What's that world that's filled with good, man? This is uh, Second Andrew 7. And, uh... Seven. Seven and, uh... Verse 6, it says, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. And we're going to the similitude. It was talking about the kingdom of heaven, man. 
hey, if this place isn't destroyed, how can we get to that place that's filled with all good things, man? You know, we got to walk that path to get to it, of course. You know, as it says in the similitude. Of course, you know, I just want to make that point thereof, though. Because, hey, this place is wicked and it has to be destroyed. And it will be destroyed, man. And we living in the days in which it will be destroyed, you know. I got another one. Hey, this ain't our home. Uh... Well, this is uh second address seven and forty two. This is second address seven and forty two, and it says, He answered me and said, This present life is not the end with much glory doth abide. Right. This life that we live here in 2021, Babylon, the great rulership of the uh, of Esau and the, and the heathens, man. This this ain't this ain't not, this ain't our place of rest, man. It gets way better than this, man. It gets way better than this. It says, uh It says, Therefore have they prayed for the weak. It says, but the day of doom, and when you go into the etymology of the word doom, it goes into the day of judgment, the day of sentence, the day of decree. It says, but the day of doom or 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 judgment day. It says, uh, but the day of doom or or judgment day. It says, shall be the end of this time. What time? The rulership of the heathens, man. You know, uh, the the age of wickedness, man. It says. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come. Because hey, after the Lord comes with that healing in his wings, man, the Israelites are going to be made uh, immortal, man. You know, we're going to have the law, statue, law, statutes and commandments written within us, man. We won't be able to sin against our power, man. We won't be able to uh, uh, harm, our, uh, harm our fellow Israelites. It's going to be pe complete peace, man. It talks about in the book of, uh, I believe, Zechariah, man, that hey, our children are going to play in the streets, man. You know? We're going to actually be able to have time to spend with our children, man, to actually have children and be able to enjoy our children, man, and treat them and give them the things that we couldn't give them, man, you know? It says, verse 43, it says, but the dead doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past, right? After this place goes, a hey, we're going to experience a true rulership, man, you know? One that's not defiled, man. One that's just pure holiness, man. You know, it says wherein corruption is past and temperance is at an end and temperance goes into a lack of uh, uh, restraint. You know, the Israelites not going to have to battle uh, fighting urges, man, to go off, man. It says intemperance is at an end and fidelity is cut off. Uh, a, a lack of faith in Yahweh, Yahushai, hey, that's going to be put out. Everybody is going to know the Lord, man. It tells you that from sea to sea, the knowledge of the Lord is going to be known. Roughly paraphrasing. It says righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up, man. So it ain't gonna be no more wickedness as as exalted and popular as it is, man. When the when the when the men of the Lord headed by Yahweh is set up, man. You know when the kingdom of heaven is established, man. It says and truth is sprung up, man. It ain't gonna be no more the Illuminati, all these wick, all these weird wicked uh, societies, man. It ain't gonna be no more of none of that, man. You know, it's just gonna be Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, his people in order, man. You know. But uh, I hit most of. Them. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, Malachi really quick, and I just ended off right there, man. You know, not just Malachi. Yeah, they Malachi, man. Cause hey, the men of the Lord, we, we, hey, we, we can't wait to see the Lord's appearing, man. You know, so that's when all this is gonna be over with, man. All of it, and it's coming soon, very soon. But this is Malachi chapter four and verse one. It says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven." And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. It says, In the day that cometh shall burn them up, save Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, coming to that judgment day, you know. It says, verse 2, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and he shall go forth and grow up as the calves of the stall, man. So for the men of the Lord, the, the men, women, and children that fear the Lord, man, Yahweh is going to come with that healing in his wings, man. He's going to heal us, heal us of the curses, man. Heal us of our, uh, our own problems that we have man heal us of uh, uh, out of these uh uh as the scriptures say chains of darkness man he's gonna get us up out of these man and give us a new body man he's gonna bring us back to our place man our, our true home our continued city all that man it starts with the destruction of this place man so hey man just to wrap the lesson up man you, you can't love it here man nothing here is good nothing here is good not our families you know not our loved ones not the females that we that we choose none of them man it, Hey, all we have is the brotherhood. It's truth. You know, these are the only people we see eye to eye with, you know. So, hey, man, hey, hey keep pushing. We're almost about it here. Call her line blah.
Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhak Wadash, the monster, the elders, and the apostles of the great millstone. Say, taste all that I can put his word with true sage, with charity, Shalom, Barakatham, and a Baba Ball.